guys welcome back to my channel explore robo i am meena sada with you welcome you all to my channel because of the quarantine and in a lockdown state i thought of doing something which would decrease the level of corona virus and make that go like a flat one so today i thought of making a touchless a soap or a sanitizer dispenser for corona so as in regular as we see that whenever a person tries to take a sanitizer consider it as a sanitizer this one it is a sanitizer dispenser it is also a touchless so consider it as a um, this touch sanitizer so the person will take it he will press it or he or she will press it and the sanitizer would come so you would be thinking that this touch where the person has touched it it would be contagious ha <laughs> ha it would contact all the disease as we know that the corona is on a surface it stays on a surface for 12 to 9 hours so everybody would touch it touch it touch it so this corona would transfer from one person to the another person and meet that curve at its highest point so i thought for making an a touchless so there is an one ultrasonic sensor consider this as a example i will show you in a just a second consider this as an ultrasonic sensor so whenever you take the hand below that ultrasonic sensor it will pour some sanitizer or a soap in your hand so there is no way that you would make a contact with this touch soap sanitizer or a soap dispenser consider it so let's see it in 3 2 1 let's go guys so guys here it is so this is an touchless sanitizer dispenser i have made it this is an a touch sanitizer dispenser as you can see here everybody would touch it touch it touch it and there would be an a contagious all would be getting this coronavirus on the hand when they would be taking it but what i have done here is that the main component of this is this ordrino as you can see here can you see it guys just a minute yeah this is the main component which uh, and there goes an ultrasonic sensor and here is one servo motor and this is an a sanitizer dispenser it was an touch dispenser only but i tried to make it as good as a touchless only because i don't want to ruin it or do something if you want to convert this into an a touched sanitizer dispenser or soap dispenser just remove this wire up here and it would be an a touch sanitizer or a soap dispenser as you can see here and if you want to make it touchless just put this copper wire beside or around top of it and it would be an a touchless sanitizer dispenser as you can see here guys so just because i have you would be thinking that why i have set it at this much height because there is lots of mess guys sorry for it so let's start the means how i made it and then we will go further and further to the demonstration also guys i will show you the demonstration so first that how did i made it so this is on a uh, kevlar sheet or a wool sheet as you can see here guys it is on a wool sheet on which i have attached some uh, supports down here as you can see here this one this one and there goes at the back of it also here also it is there guys as you can see here then comes this servo motor so you would be thinking that why i have attached this servo motor at a height i have attached this servo motor at a height because it will get some space to pull it from the down if i would attach it at this floor only so it will not move like downside only it will move just upside upside and we don't want to do that so i have made it to get some space and some potential energy which would be stored and when it moves down the potential will change into an a kinetic energy then i have glued this sanitizer box down to the plywood and th there comes one copper wire this copper wire is attached to here 
as you can see here this is an a screw tightening nut for picture ha uh, hanging or something else i don't know but this is one this copper wire which runs here which can be pressed and attached to an touch sanitizer or soap dispenser then this would come to this servo motor now the here comes one ultrasonic sensor it is hcsro4 ultrasonic sensor as you can see here vcc vcc trigger eco and ground pen the main game or uh, all the processes is happening because of this arduino only just a minute i will just show you it clearly guys see as you can see it here can you see it guys yeah and i have kept this arduino and ultrasonic sensor in this box because as to keep it water tight means sanitizer type as it is an alcohol based so there would be no explosion if the alcohol touch this circuit because i am running 12 volt through it as you can see here see guys 12 volt 1.5 ampere i will just uh, and then we come to this wiring of this project i would link in the description about the circuit diagram and the code also guys let's see the wiring for this and then we will go to the demo and here i am also attached one switch it is an spdp switch single pole single sided switch so as you turn on the zero indicate when it is off and the one is i think so it's vonami so as you turn this as to protect it to go into the standby mode means to keep it in the standby mode only whenever it is not in an use so in further project i am trying to attach one ir sensor here here as you can see because there is some disadvantage of this ultrasonic sensor also the disadvantage of this ultrasonic sensor is that if you move your hand here somewhere also it would sense that particles and it would trigger it but because of this i changed some coding here just i have made this distance 1 or 1 uh, meter up to here only so when your hand comes here then only this this ultrasonic sensor triggers the arduino arduino triggers the servo motor to push it down got it guys so now let's see the circuit diagram so guys here comes the circuit diagram this is an a circuit diagram link in the description for this as you can see it clearly or there is some frame rate changes in it because i am showing this you in my laptop so that's why uh, i forgot to took the print out so sorry for that let's continue the topic so as you can see for the circuit basis only i have attached this ultrasonic sensor here on the breadboard to get an a clear understand of your get and clear uh, to this so there is an a 10 10k ohm resistor as you can see here just a minute i will show you can you see it guys this is an a 10k ohm resistor uh, then comes some here is an a vcc pin trigger ground and um, what ground trigger eco and ground pin then comes this side this is on a arduino uno board as you can see here and this is an a servo motor and as i have shown you in my circuit that is an toggle switch here i have used an toggle switch there this is also an spdp switch only there is also an spdp switch so this is an a wiring for it so as you can see here there is an uh, this is uh, this is a signal pin vcc and ground pin so the signal means data pin goes to as you can see here just a minute i will more zoom it can you see it guys clearly ha huh? yes no guys right? yeah so the data pin goes to pin number 4 as you can see here then this one is on a trigger pin the trigger pin as you follow the track the trigger pin goes to the pin number 3 and here is an eco pin which goes to the pin number 2 and this is on a connection for this toggle switch as to get in and stand by mode and there is one more pin which goes to this toggle switch pin goes to the pin number 5 this one guys as you can see here yeah yes guys yeah
and not sponsored by circuit dot io just for representing it uh, and and this is an a 9g servo motor arduino uno and this is ultrasonic sensor as i have told you and you can use this 10k ohm resistor or not it is your choice but for my safety of this arduino board i have used it because i am using a power supply here for circuit 12 volts and 1 ampere 1 1.5 ampere yeah guys now let's see so guys now let's see the demo now just i will on the my 12 volt power supply as you can see here yeah the 12 volt power supply is on can you see it yes guys uh, now let's come to the circuit now you would be asking there is no light and indication coming here and on the arduino board as you can see here there is one toggle switch or spdp switch so i will just flicker it means turn on it see guys as you can see here there is an a so guys as you can see it i have flickered it. the lights are uh, the lights are there means it is uh, all in a working state so there is no problem to the circuit now now just see it very closely because how it detects it now i will just bring my hand towards it this here as you can see this, see i told you that there is no range so i have made this range somewhat here as you can see here guys so guys i will just bring my hand towards it and now just see see guys how it pours the water sanitizer or a soap watch whatever you want to keep it so there is an some 2 or 10 seconds delay here because two, means 2 seconds delay only see guys 2 seconds delay when it gets us there and then it works so this is how i have made it so as you also want to make this you can also i would give you in the description the circuit and the code guys you also want to some make this project like this only and decrease the level of the corona make that curve flatter so you can also try this if you have an arduino and i will link that code and the circuit diagram in the description and if you want to see further this videos of the arduino please do not forget to hit that like button subscribe press the red button as you can see here and do make it gray and press that ganti button also enjoy watching my video until then bye guys